What's up guys, so I'm going to show how to play the main riff from um, Do I Wanna Know by the Arctic Monkeys. And um, I was just playing this the other day in Essen and I, was, I thought like it's really good practice for um, practicing quick changes and well quick alternations with your fingers and then slides as well. So this sounds really good practice for slides and just keeping in the time. So this is all four beats to the bar, I'm sure you could hear when I was playing it there. I'm always tapping my feet so I'm keeping that four beats going while I'm playing it and it just helps to keep the timing right so the way we're going to play this guys it alternates between being really fast and then stopping still and holding notes so when we start all right we're going to start on the first box of the E string with the first finger okay and that's our first note so what we're going to do is we're going to go one then three with the third finger, same string. Then we're gonna go first box on the A string, the fifth string with the first finger. And then we're gonna go right back to the tree on the sixth string with the third finger again. And we hold that there, so it's. And you hold it there for two little beats. So one, two, three. Just hold it there like that just for a second, not for long. And we're gonna go one, two, <coughs> excuse me. And then you're gonna do the one, three, one again. So one, two, and then you're gonna go one, three, one again like that. So one, two. Now the second you hit this note, so now guys before we go any further, if you're getting lost and getting left behind by this video, just rewind it to where you knew and go from there, okay? So that's the best way to do this. So from the start, one, three, one on the A, three, one, two. Then you're gonna go one, three on the E again, one on the A, and now what you're going to do guys is you're going to grab the first box of the D string, fourth string, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to hit it, you're going to let your thumb off the back, alright? So when we're sliding guys, your thumb will fight you. Because we use our thumb to squeeze in chords. We use it for power. So if we try slide a chord, the thumb's saying no, you're not going anywhere. That's its job. But if you take your thumb off, you can slide anywhere you want. So let your thumb off, all right, so. All right, so now we're on the first of the D. And we're gonna let the thumb off. We're gonna hit it and use the momentum and slide to three. And then we're not gonna slide back, we're just gonna go back to one quick and hit one again. I hit the wrong string there. <laughs> so we're going. Now it looks like I'm sliding it because I do it quick, so it's. But I'm not. I'm going slide to three, off, back to one, and hit it again. So from the start, one, two. Right, and when we're here, we go to the A string, back to three on the A string with the third finger. And we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna slide to five, and we're gonna come back to three. So down, down. So one to three to one. Then A, three to five to three. And now remember guys, learn this in sections, so keep pausing it wherever you need to and go from there. Then we're going to go, still on the A string, 1, 3, slide to 5, 3. So we're going to go 1, 3, slide to 5, and back to 3. So, dun. So from the beginning guys, okay? 1, 2. Now, one, two, 
one tree slide the five tree. Now we're gonna go one tree slide the five. Then you hit it again. So one tree, hit tree again and slide the five. Then I like to use my first finger and grab tree on the A string again and slide that to five. And back to tree on the E string with the third finger. So all together it's that's it slowed down. I messed it up. <laughs> like that. So from the very beginning. Now, it's tricky enough guys, you know, but it's great practice, so don't, like, if this is hard, you're finding it hard, just do it little bits at a time and you'll get the hang of it, you'll get the timing of it, it just takes time, everything that's worthwhile takes time, so it's just not going to happen straight away, so, I hope that helps you guys, I hope you enjoy that, because it's actually a cool little riff when you get the hang of playing it. And um, I pull up the right hand now just to show what way I'm actually picking it. It's always down up picks. I always use down up alternate picking. It's the best. But um, I pull up a video now of the right hand just showing what way I'm doing it nice and slowly. Okay? Thank you. Guys, okay, so this is just showing what way I'm picking with the plectrum. Okay? So from the start. That's the way it's always going to be picked, guys. Okay. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please, please like and subscribe. Thank you.